strong day for Tesla shares, up 4% on Wall Street. Cash has been dwindling as the company's burning through money uh, with investment, infrastructure and losses, of course. And it says it will now raise $2 billion to strengthen the balance sheet. Now, a year ago, if you look at the thermometer, Elon Musk said he would never need to raise cash again. Since then, a lot has gone wrong. There was a falling share price uh, that forced the company to make a massive bond payment with cash rather than stock. Then Tesla lost another 700 million after the quarter after it failed to keep up with deliveries. Now it is planning to sell off $650 million worth of stock and $1.3 billion in convertible debt. Musk says he'll even put in $10 million uh, to get the shares to help things get started. Gene Munster is still optimistic about Tesla in the long term, despite its recent troubles. He's the founding partner of Loop Ventures, and he joins me now from Minneapolis. Uh, good to see you, Gene. Look, the, the issue is why Tesla needs this money. It's not, un it's not unusual for new ventures to require more capital, but this is a car company building an extremely expensive product with large uh, facilities and plants. Exactly right, Richard. And I think one of the distinctions here that's important is even though Tesla is a public company, it operates more like a private company and what is involved with something in the uh, venture industry known as blitz scaling. So if I may, may humor your viewers for a second here, what that means is the company is trying a lot of different things to really reach optimal output. So that can come on the manufacturing side, it can come on how they're going to market, whether it's retail stores or direct to consumer, what countries to roll out to, all of this is work in process. And what you should really take away from blitzscaling is that there's a lot of risk that's associated with that. And so uh, that is why the company needs more money is some things, as you mentioned in the setup, have not gone as Tesla's way over the last three months. That's fascinating when you're talking about a company that makes widgets or vacuum cleaners or you know, even just an app company or a technology company, but this company is making vehicles and they are large and expensive and they have a, a risk element to them, a safety element to them. Do you really want your companies building motor vehicles running out of cash like this? Well, they, I want to be clear, Tesla's not going to run out of cash. Uh, with this raise, we can go through the mechanics of it, but this should really set them up for the next few years. Uh, that's first of all. Uh, to answer your question is, uh, as a general rule, no, you do not want your uh, companies that you're riding around in their vehicles to run out of money, but I do not think Tesla right. is at risk, despite this bull and bear case, which will continue to rage on, I'm sure. Right, so we're taking, taking that point, uh, what's interesting is that normally uh, issues like this, and, we, and I'm not sure whether it's going to be a placement or a rights issue, you might know uh, more, more about that, than, or you obviously will know more about that than me, um, but normally when you have a dilutive uh, issue, then the stock falls. Here it's gone up, which I think tells us volumes about what the market thinks of the move. Exactly. This does, at the end of the day, de-risk the story. I think this was also, in terms of what the market thinks about it, I think that's the simplest takeaway, is this de-risk the story. Keep in mind, too, as the stock has gone down, has traded down in anticipation of this news, too. So it's, uh, But at the end of the day, it does de-risk the story. 